today we have a short and simple video for a nice little upgrade for our printers. We're replacing the glass bed with a PEI spring steel magnetic build plate. These build plates are designed to offer excellent adhesion without aids and make it extremely simple to remove your prints after it cools down. With the magnetic feature of the plate you're able to remove the plate and then flex it or bend it to have your print effortlessly pop off. To begin, we need to remove the existing glass plate which is normally held on with either binder clips or the fancy little metal clips which just slide off though it may take a bit of effort. Also apparently on the S8 there was a protective film over the metal heating plate that you're supposed to remove before using the printer. But we're well over 100 hours in printing on this thing and I never even knew it was there so if you're liking me and left this on now would be an excellent time to remove it. I was trying to remove it without lifting my bed but it had some serious adhesive on there. Maybe because I went through a few heat cycles. I don't know. However, once it's removed, it's time to go on and grab the PEI plate. I still had it packaged up as I didn't want it to get damaged. It's two separate parts, the magnetic plate itself and the adhesive magnet that goes onto the metal heating plate. Unpeel the PEI plate from the magnet and set it aside, and then place the magnet onto the bed and make sure it fits. If you didn't buy one for your exact bed size or you have an odd sized bed, you can easily trim the magnet with a pair of scissors or an X-Acto knife. Get it squared up with your bed and start at one corner and peel back the backing paper and stick it down to that one corner making sure the magnet is still square. Keeping the magnet square with the sides, slowly peel back the rest of the paper applying pressure to the magnet to make sure you don't get any air bubbles. If your bed has raised screws for where the carriage attaches to it, you can use an X-Acto knife to cut out the magnet around them and then your PEI plate should sit flush as the magnet is typically thicker than the amount that the screw heads are proud of the surface. With the magnet down and flat, it's time to put the PEI plate itself on. The PEI treated side is the gold side and it should have a plastic film over it. This is a treated surface and is not designed to have any oils on it, meaning don't touch it with your hands or fingers or toes if you do that for some weird reason. If you do touch the surface or it gets dirty or dusty or whatever, you can clean it with isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol as most people know it. 
ideally you want at least 91%, but you can buy pretty much pure alcohol off of Amazon and it's even better. It'll be linked down in the description below. You can use acetone, but it can degrade the PEI over time and cause it to become brittle, so I don't recommend it. Anyway, once you have your plate on, it's time to go ahead and re-level your bed and make sure your nozzle offset is still correct if you're using an automatic bed leveler. And that's it. Enjoy your new PEI plate, marvel at its adhesive properties, and happy printing. Thanks so much for tuning in, and as always, if you like the content I'm putting out, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all new content as it comes out. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.